Right, hey all, we're in uh, London now, moved from uh, Paris, and I've got uh, with me the man that's redesigning London, um, Sam Martin, used to play cricket with Samuel, uh, young fast bowler, now he's an old fast bowler. Um, so, the, the key thing, what, what Sam's been doing recently, which is really, really interesting, is he's actually pitched an idea about building a cycleway over the top of London City, and lo and behold, um, he's had meetings with Boris Johnson and all sorts of really interesting bits and pieces. So what I'm interested in really is, is how do you pitch a big idea like that? How does that come up and, and then what do you got planned? What's, what's going to happen? Yeah, how to pitch an idea like that? Well, the, I think the, the key to that is to embrace the, the person who you're trying to pitch it to, which is Boris, <laughs> uh, and understand, drill it down to its simplest components. And, and in order to create a sky cycle over London, you have to... So tell us, you know, what is the Sky Cycle? The sky Cycle What's the deal? Is, is the name that we've given it. Yep. The Sky Cycle, the genesis of that came from a guy, Ollie, who was a graduate in our office two years ago. And when it's finally a project, he thought about an idea of maybe having a, a cycleway next to the railway line. And yep. maybe using old railway land. Yep. And that was a nice idea. Him and I talked about it at the pub that night. We were walking back from the pub. And I said, well, like up there, we can attach it to that. There's a bit of South London infrastructure we could have yeah, worked right. on. And so that became then something we started talking about more and more often. That was making no money, so it was just an idea we were pouring ideas into. And more ideas and more time. And so that was two years ago. And then eventually in February, I was sort of sick to death of it just being an idea. So I used uh, a New Zealand contact, a woman who's based here in London, uh, Dame Judith Mayhew Jonas, who sits on a group that advises Boris Johnson. I sent her an email, had a meeting with her, and I approached her on the basis that I've got a few different things I'm working on, one of which is Sky Cycle. How could I get this in front of Boris? Right. I sent her an email then of what the Sky Cycle was, the, a few visionary snapshots. Yeah. She sent that to Boris's office, and we got a letter a few months or a few weeks later asking us to be to go and present to his deputy mayor of transport right. and TFL who operate the uh, underground and, and different transport infrastructure here but not network rail which shown all the above ground trains so the, the, there's a key thing here in London is that the mayor's office operates two things the police and transport but it doesn't operate all the big above ground trains so right. Waterloo, uh, Paddington, Clapham Junction Kings Cross, they are network rail land, so they're above ground. Yep. So Boris looks after below ground, underground, and the oh, buses. Okay. Right, yep. And now bikes, which he's looking at Boris bike, bike system, which is a bike high scale, like in Paris. Right, right, right. So what, what, what I wanted to do was to, to simplify it to a central core, which is to use network rail land, it's one landowner. Uh, but the mayor's office is the person who would be making, likely to make it happen, so that's TFL. And network rail and TFL are a competition. So the, the idea there was to try and merge the two entities. So it was first to get Boris to like it and understand it, uh, and then to get Network Rail on board as the people who would allow it to, this to happen. So they, they, after being invited in to meet the mayor's, the deputy mayor of transport, I was in into the mayor's office, uh, into the lobby, and the lift opened for Ollie and I to go in. And in front of me, standing here, was Boris. You know, it was that was. The moment, the lift moment. Yeah. And um, you need your elevator pitch. Is your elevator pitch? So I, I made a quick, swift anecdote about what I'd just seen being up to down below in the lobby, which is to do with the Turkish exhibition. I made a quip about his grandfather being assassinated by a Turk. He said, couldn't possibly say that. We're surrounded by Turks. And, yes. Uh, there's a whole lot of Turks on the left, and so we laughed about that. And he said, so what are you doing here? I said, I'm here to, to talk to the letter that you invited me in to talk to, which is the Sky Cycle. And he said, oh, it's like E.T. flying to the moon. Not this. So he did that. So really, from that moment on, I had him. And he had seen, obviously, what we'd sent in. And he wants, wanted us to, to really, and he wanted to understand more about it. So his deputy mayor of transport was our next port of call. So why was he interested in it? What, what's the big driver for, for the mayor of London? Well, what he loves what? cycling. Does he? And uh, I think his... His, he just he just won the latest election, so he's got another four years. Right, he's got time to implement something. Yep, Big. he's got time to implement something. He he also has made promises, and he is 
delivering so far on increasing cyclists on the roads of London, but what isn't being really resolved is safety, cycle safety. Uh, this doesn't necessarily solve all of the cycle safety because inevitably you have to go on a road to get to what we're doing, but what we want to do is make cycling a more efficient and more attractive proposition for people in London. So it eases pressure on the rail infrastructure and transport infrastructure. Uh, we left the lift, Boris wanted to know more. I said him after my meeting, he wanted to come to our meeting, his advisors held him back. So we got to our meeting and the people in our meeting had already been intercepted by Boris and Boris and they said we want this, Boris wants this to happen. So that's how the meeting began with the people I had to pitch to already sold. Awesome. Looks like we're about to be shut down by security. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we just got shut down by security. <laughs> So we had to move along, um, but the guy who, who shut us down, one of the security guards, once we told them about the project, he wanted a job uh, with Sam as an engineer on the project. He's sending his CV in. He is. A that's... engineer. We need everyone. It's going to be a big team. <laughs> the guy that put his hand up, I don't want any photos, but he's sending his CV in. So, um, so where, where were we? Uh, Boris had just left the lift. You're in the thought, elevator yeah. with Boris Johnson. Yeah, he wanted to get, come with us to our meeting. We went to ours. He had already intercepted the people we were selling to. They'd been sold to because he got it and yeah. he wants wants it to happen. So subsequently we've been... Because uh, for a mayor this is quite a cool thing. If you can put something like this in place, it's it's it's, uh, it's a major coup and yeah. it, it stays around forever and it, it's Boris's cycle way. It's, you know. It is a legacy thing. And so in, in, in terms of that, uh, it's perhaps sort of striking a chord with the mayor that that might be something he could he could leave behind. Yeah. Uh, and the mayor's office have been instrumental in now setting up two subsequent meetings with Network Rail. So Network Rail have really been very uh, receptive to the idea, which is not that usual for them because it's pretty difficult for them to give away yep. access to their land. Yep. Uh, we've had a workshop with Network Rail. They have now they've suggested that should we get further after our next meeting, they will actually set up a team from their side to help make this maybe turn into reality. So the meeting I've got next is on Thursday with Boris and David Higgins, who's the CEO of Network Rail. Yep, and he's and another big cheese from the yep, Olympics. So he set up, he did, the, he ran the Sydney Olympics, delivered that on time to budget. Blue Water, big shopping centre here in the UK. Then the uh, London London Olympics, he worked for the ODA and ran that. And basically what, what he did is he set up a team at the ODA that circumvented, uh, where the Olympic Park was, was within two boroughs. It had a railway station, it had about five jurisdictions that oversaw that as an entity and he basically set up a team that drilled through all jurisdictions that oversaw that site and he was at the top of it, basically right. fast tracked everything through. So this is this is quite unnatural for a project to have this much cut through. Sorry, that was with the Olympic part. Ah. So what the outcome I'm hoping for after Thursday's meeting with David Higgins is that if he if he gets it and he wants to make it happen as much as Boris, yep. we get the City of London behind it, we get Network Rail and the landowner setting up something that allows this to happen. Awesome. Yeah. Wouldn't Can't that wait. be amazing? It would. And that would be a world first? Yeah, for something it like would this? be a world first. So right. in, in that sense, London also gets a foot up on the rest of the world. Uh, and, and you know, which is big for cities because cities have egos, yeah, don't they? They do. And so the, the recent, well, the last week, the guys who, who set up the High Line, which is the the elevated, the uh, High Line, which is the elevated uh, 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 old railway line through Chelsea and New York and Manhattan. Yeah. There's a uh, two and a half k's of elevated parkway that was a disused railway line. It's called the High Line. That has generated since its first was opened two years, three years ago, 200 million. US dollars worth of, of uh, basically capital investment on the basis of this dedicated urban park. Wow. This isn't an urban park, this is an urban piece of infrastructure, but Boris loves the High Line. What this would do is put London slightly ahead of New York, this right. is something different, maybe something better, but in a way it's elevated. It gives you a new perspective of London, it gives you a safe way into London. Yeah, it'd be awesome for tourists, right? Yeah, and, and that's not the target market. The target market is commuters. So right. The, the organic then rolling out of that is it got, it's got another life, it's got many more lives other than just getting people into the middle of town quickly and safely. It could be all things to all people. Awesome. <laughs> and you heard it here first. Yeah. More to come. There'll be yeah. much more to come. More to come. Awesome, yeah. Sam. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Richard. Good luck. Thank you.